The holidays are a time for gathering together with others. Besides gifts, food is often shared among friends and family. Restaurant owner and chef Kim Holmes is here to show us how to make the perfect compliment to any holiday gathering. Well, thanks so much for joining us Merry on the show Christmas today. Merry Christmas and good evening. <laughs> and, and thanks for coming again. Of course, you're a regular on our show. I love it. Because love you know it. how to cook. But I keep waiting for my check. Well. It's coming. It's in the mail. It's in right? the mail. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> how, how, you well, know, today you... Today we're going to do uh, a shrimp salad with red and, and green and white colors, Christmas colors. Christmas colors. So we'll start out with two and a half pounds of uh, tiger shrimp that have been peeled and deveined and cooked. And you can put that in there. Before, hey, before oh, we get right. started, yes. I want to ask you, you have a fine dining restaurant in Grand Forks here in North Dakota. Yes. How's business? How's it going? Superb. Is it? Very, very good. I've been very blessed. We've been open for 30 years here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, yeah. I, I know. That, I mean, this is just a simple taste of, of what you bring at your restaurant. There's a lot of great stuff there. This so. is a great recipe for fixing in the morning, serving at night. Uh, very easy to do. Ease of use. That's, yes. that's great. And by the way, I've got a little demo cam here, so I'll be putting this into things so we can get up close shots of, okay. of things like this. You know, I could have a chip right now and be the chip dipping into the dip. <laughs> you should, you should like do it together. <laughs> okay, well let's let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, so Dump this in the bowl, okay. we'll do the dry ingredients. Dry ingredients, all right. Okay, don't uh, be shy What kind here. of shrimp just, is this? This is tiger oh, just... shrimp. <laughs> all right, there we go. And put okay. the green onions in. Can you use The red any... pepper first. Red peppers, okay. Yeah, just dump them in. Just pour, turn it over. There you go. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay. And dump the green onions. All right. And then we'll put about half of this parsley in. Okay, let, let's back up just a little bit because I want to talk about the shrimp. I mean, it's seafood. Yes. Um, sometimes when you mention seafood, people get a little bit nervous with, with serving others, especially a, a plate for people to dip into. Uh -huh. What about the shrimp? What kind of, how do you prepare it? What kind of shrimp is it? Well, uh, we uh, cook the shrimp and uh, we boil it real quick. Okay. Uh, you don't want to overcook shrimp. So you're getting for raw this, shrimp, for shrimp this, first. No, uh, we, uh, we buy peeled in the vein individually quick frozen shrimp okay. for this dish, particular okay. dish. Okay. And uh, so you just run it under cold water, take the tails off, and chop it up in a food processor, and not too fine, but in nice chunks, mm -hmm. and then there you go. Okay. And that's all you need. So you do buy it raw, though, and you cook it up yourself. Yes. That's the best yeah. way to do it, you think? Yeah, it is. It okay. is. You're guaranteed a fresh product. Sure. Okay. And, and for those picky eaters out there, is are there any substitute ingredients or different um, things you could put in the dish? Well, you, you can uh, use crab that's spelled with a K. Mm. That's really uh, uh, processed pollock from Alaska. That's airbrushed with that makes it look like crab legs. Isn't that the like the wieners of of seafood kind of thing? <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> yep. But uh, you know you can't hurt anybody with that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, just you got to keep hot foods hot, cold foods cold. Sure. And when you're dealing with seafood, you keep it cold until you cook it. Okay. So now we've got the seafood in. We've got uh, peppers, onions, 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 parsley. What do we do next? Okay. We're going to do the wet ingredients. And you mix that separately so uh, you can uh, get, uh, get it incorporated. This is Thai sweet chili sauce. We have shiraka, which is a spicy chili sauce. Okay. And then we have salt, a little bit, not too much. Watch your salt intake and a little white pepper. White pepper? Yes, because it uh, you're mixing it with shrimp. You don't want to see black flecks. Oh, okay. And, and it also looked very fine, too. Is it finely ground white pepper? Yes, okay. yeah, and we grind that from uh, peppercorns ourselves. Mix this quickly, incorporate it with the shrimp. You can show the camera there. And then we mix this up. That's looking, it's, it's, it's smelling good. We it's don't have, really we've good. got the little camera, we don't have smell o vision yet. <laughs> this is starting to smell really good. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Now, what I've done is I've lined a bowl with saran wrap right here, and this will act as the mold All right, for so the shrimp salad. Kim, I don't know if you know or not, while you're putting in the mold there, you know, this is our 25th anniversary 
uh, this year for Studio One. And, uh, you know, I get to taste your stuff whenever you come on, but yeah. it's, you know, we need a real food critic oh! to, uh, Hello, girlfriend. to actually oh, taste this stuff. Oh, Merry Christmas. This is Marilyn Haggerty, and she is a well known food uh, connoisseur, taster, and reviewer. And so I'm pretty sure we need to get her to take a cracker and mm. taste what you just made. Absolutely, absolutely. And I would like you, lavash cracker or regular cracker? And then try from the uh, the pre-made the, the, All right, the one there you go, Marilyn. Come on in here, slide in here, and uh, give it a taste, and, and we'll, we'll we want to hear what you have to say really about good. it. Very good, I know. It's got to be good. Dig in. Wow, how many? Okay, go for it. It has a sweeter taste. Yes, right. that's the Thai sweet chili sauce. And then I have some hotter shiraka, which mm. is a spicy. This is very nice. Yeah. Do you, um, you, have, you make this quite often during the uh, Yes, season? we do. And we put it on our antipasto uh, plate. Mm. Uh, Marilyn, uh, out, of, out of 10, I'm giving you a pretty big range there, 0 to 10. 10. Well, what else has he, does he have here? Is there uh, anything we can compare it to? Or no, we no. just go, I think this 10 is, is the best? Yeah, 10 is the best. That I've ever tasted yeah. of this. Yeah. Well, now remember, you ate at La Bernadine, which is number 10 in my heart. All right. Yes, 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 I did eat there, but they gave me little glasses of wine. All right, you, have you know what? I don't even arrange that. Keep us in suspense. <laughs> We're going to wrap up and go to commercial. Okay. We'll come back with your, with your and summation. Thank you both for coming on the oh, show today. Thank you for having <laughs> us, and happy anniversary. Thank you. You're watching Studio One from the University of North Dakota. We'll be right back after this.